everyone so in this video you'll be seeing how I got this look and how I used Roxy's collaboration with Revolution to get there what I think of the palettes a little review a tutorial on my lips is hot chocolate by Primark in their Luster collection and I will be lip swatching all of them and yeah let's just get get into it because the first thing I'm going to be doing is showing you how I got my base because I really really can you see that highlight I love it so yeah I'll see you in a bit okay let's get started so the first palette I'm going to pick up is Roxy's highlight and contour palette which just looks like this it's lovely packaging it is like this peachy color with all these like sprinkles of gold dust coming down it it's got the rose gold Roxy signature on it which I love and um, yeah then it has like the four colours on the back and their ingredients I never read that um, just because I don't and this is what the palette looks like it is a rose gold lid with the yellow Roxy sign and um, inside these are the eight shades so you have four contour shades and four highlighter shades and I am going to use this second colour all over where I would do normally bronze. I'm not really a contour person, so this will be a different shade for me. I love my Hoola bronzer. I swear by Hoola and I swear by my Rockator blush. So let's see if this can make me forget, uh, forget my Hoola bronzer. There's a little bit of kickback in the pan. Like I say... In every video, I don't care, I just like to tell everyone there's a little kickback. Wow, it is very pigmented. Again, showing up brighter on camera than it actually is, but this is a perfect shade for me. Now the cheeks. perfect shade I love this shade I keep forgetting you need the tiniest amount I keep swirling when I just only need to dab okay I have found my perfect bronzer this is not as dark as hula which is great it's like an in-between hula light and normal hula and um, I, f I found it like I love to go right into the hairline to blend it out but I think that's added a lot of colour and shape to my face straight away. Okay, for my favourite part, which is the highlight. Now, I have watched her video and I know the highlight I'm going to test, but I will be showing you all on the back of my hand. But it's this highlight down here, which is the one I'm going to test. This is the one that I've been very, very excited to test. Wow. Did you guys see that? It's like a nice wet look. Once you blend it out, it's not showing too much texture because I have a lot of texture on my skin, like loads. I've tried everything to get rid of the texture on my skin, but it's not emphasizing it too much. You gotta kind of swirl it into your skin. I haven't had a highlighter this good in ages. Other than my, um, obsession it's the palette with I want to say Rady and that one is amazing but I think I found my new go-to palette so I went ahead and put some blush on I just literally used my favorite blush which is the Rockator blush by Benefit I've actually hit pan on it I've never hit pan on like any like base products except for powder in a long time. So that is saying something. And on my hand, I have all the shades of the highlight and the contour. Bearing from the lightest all the way to the darkest contour. I do feel like this is a quite a universal palette compared to some highlight and contour palettes. Because sometimes they just literally focus on like me light to medium skin tone. I feel like there's like this shade's quite a nice 
deep dark shade. Um, there could be a darker one, but to make it universal and to have big enough pans, it's quite a nice palette. Um, yeah, I, and it was only £10. A lot of Makeup Re Revolutions collaborations now are £10, which is decent, but again, everything's going up in price, I keep saying that. Um, so I really do like the highlights. I must admit, my favourite are these two shades, and I feel like the darker one, I could get away with it as a shimmery bronzer, so I think I might try that next time. So yeah, now that we've finished with highlighting and contouring, I think it's time to move on to the eyeshadow palettes. So the next palette that I'm going to show you is the Ride or Die palette by Roxy. Well, of course it's by Roxy. This is what the box looks like. It's a very um, different type of box. They all have similar but different patterns. This one's got more of like that marble effect on it. And then it's not a rose gold. It's more of a gold um, tone on the Roxy and some of the silver uh, gold bits on here. And that's the box. So yes, this is the Ride or Die. This is the more neutral palette. And it just looks like this. And these are the shades here on my hand. So if the last row, for some reason, which is at the top here, did not... Was it this one? Yeah. It was really hard. Some of this was really hard to swatch. So I'll show you the colours in the palette that were harder to swatch. This one here was very hard to swatch. Yet the rest of the foil type ones were really nice to swatch even this foil one down here the, I don't understand why the foil shades that this one just wasn't swatching that good I tried different fingers and it just wouldn't leave my finger oh there's two of me um, but the mattes were really nice the, the even this matte swatched quite nicely um, the matte swatched nice um, there's not really much complaint about them they're not as pigmented as some of the makeup revolution palettes um so i'm a bit disappointed in that i feel like the formula in a few of these are not as good as they have been in the past but yeah this is the ride or die palette yeah. so the next palette i'm going to show you is the color burst palette and i think that's the palette i'm going for because i'm gonna might do like a nice green smoky eye um and maybe i'll add a bit of glitter this is what the packaging for the Colour Burst palette looks like. It is more of like your pastel coloured marble effect with the rose gold Roxy and the little rose gold dots going down it. It's quite nice. I never like getting rid of the boxes, especially when the box doesn't look like the same as the palette because the palette at the front looks like this. It's like a nice teal colour. And one thing I forgot to say about the other palettes is that all of the shades, well, all of the matte shades have the signature R embossed in them. It's quite nice to see. So you can see across the matte shades that there's like the R's there. Just again, this foil colour really did not pick up when swatching, which was quite annoying. Some of the mattes were not as bright as I thought they would be. It just... It's not the same quality, again, as some of the other Revolution palettes. And I really love the palettes, but... I'm not as impressed with these palettes. The contour and highlight palette I'm really impressed with. And maybe I should speak from here. The contour and highlight palette I'm really impressed with. But I'm just not that impressed with the pigmentation of these shadows. And this silver shade, again, amazing. But I swatched the silver shade like this in an Obsession palette. And that was amazing too. So I'm a bit, again, not impressed. That's £30 for three palettes and two of them the shades are just not that great. Some of the mattes are okay, but like they're just not as pigmented as they could have been. So this is the palette I'm going to use. I'm going to zoom you guys all in close. Let's get up close and personal on my eyes. And I'm hoping to do some sort of like blue, green, smoky eye. Um, hopefully. <laughs> but I don't know how well it's going to show up. So let's just start. I can't stop looking at this highlight like it is just glowy, wet look, picks up a little bit of my texture but I love it. So let's get into the actual tutorial. Oh and before we get into the tutorial, let's show you the swatches. Again not as pigmented, so first, second and third row. This, this silver shade is so nice but they're just a little bit more pigmentation they need. 
just a little bit more and because the colours are amazing like they've got a lovely colour selection it just needs a little bit more pigmentation. So I'm going to begin with this yellow shade here and I'm going to blend it out with this orange shade here. The yellow shade is called Lemonade and the orange shade is called Bang Bang which is like the Bang Bang cauliflower from Waggers. <laughs> the brush does pick up a lot. It's quite patchy in the middle here. I'm not... Let's try this eye. Again, this one's patchy up here. Hmm. Right, I'm going to move on to the Bang Bang shade. And I'm going to try a different brush. There's no fallout from this, it's blending really well into the yellow. I like the Bang Bang shade much better. Oh, it's a little bit patchy here, but it's much more vibrant than that yellow. So I don't think I'm going to do a green smoky eye, I think I'm going to go for more of like a sunset eye. So I think I want to take this pink shade right here, which is called Fetch. This one looks so nice, it reminds me of like a bubblegum colour. I just want to blend them all together a little bit better just used a clean brush now I'm going to go in this red shade called red velvet very pigmented guys I'm liking it so far that red left a bit of fallout oh my god did you see that wow that was oh, oh my god I'm gonna have a pink nose, I'm getting a clean brush. Okay, well, that ruined my base makeup. I'm gonna try on this eye, but be much more careful with that red. I'm literally gonna dot it on a bit. That was much better. You have to build it up slowly. And then I'm going in the Ride or Die palette and I'm going to use this sunset, is it called, it's actually called Sunset Shade to be my halo eye colour. So I'm going to try that, see how that works out and then buff it out with a little bit of Inspire. That's come out really nice in the middle. I feel like I only need a little bit to blend, so I'm going to get another tiny brush, which I've got this tapered crease brush, and I'm just going to get off any colour that's on there and just slightly buff out the edges. It worked as good with a brush as it would have with my finger. So for below the eyes, I'm going to start with this pumpkin shade first. And this again is still the Ride or Die palette. I've switched palettes now. I've got another tapered crease brush and I'm going to use that. And I'm going to buff it out with that Inspire colour that I buffed out the highlight colour. And for the inner corner in the Ride or Die palette, I'm going for this shade here called Yas. Or Yas? Yas? Whatever, yeah, I don't care. This shade here. So 
So I'm going to go off camera, do my lashes and figure out a lip colour and then I'll be back with my final verdict and my final result. So, so I'm back, lipstick is on. This is the Hot Chocolate Lipstick by Primark in their Luster collection. I think just really sets this look off. It's a bit more autumnal so it gives you a bit more of that like winter night sunset eye so I really like it. Um, my overall thoughts on this whole collection is it could be better. I really love the colour scheme, the price point of all the palettes, the packaging, everything is amazing, the pigmentation just could be better and that's my only issue but I really really enjoyed doing this eye. It was a bit difficult on this side because of how much fallout is there was but it just means next time I just need to be a bit more careful it is worth the £10 I'm hoping I just got some dud colours for some reason but I really really enjoyed this tutorial please like subscribe down below if you have any suggestions for me let me know I'm hoping a collection video will be up at the end of this year because I am kind of close to finishing organizing my collection and after Christmas I'm hoping I put away all my little Christmas bits and we should be ready for a collection so thank you guys for really supporting me and I will see you next time bye guys